Hey everyone, it's Bruce, 51 Napco. Okay, I got some news tonight. I uh, put the tires back on the 51, and I don't know if it's going to show up. I know how it'll show up. Hang on. And it's probably windy. I got my sticker. So I'm legal to drive now. So I'm going to try to take this thing for a putt down to the uh, gas station and put some gas in it. Anyway, uh, also, well, the first time the tires are on, I'll do this with you guys. Okay, that's about. That's about a fire engine. Okay, that's about even with the truck. Right in the center of the truck. I'm at about, uh, I don't know, knee height if you were sitting in the truck at, at my eye level. <clears throat> Here is oncoming traffic eye level. And this is low beams. And then down here is below eye level traffic. That's about eye level traffic right there. And that's right next to the truck. And then here's back at about knee level sitting in the truck. So I think the uh, lights are adjusted pretty good. I have to see when I get out there on the road. Anyway, uh, let me uh, try to mount this thing and uh, see what happens. See what happens here. I got plenty of gas to at least drive off a little bit in a non populated direction. Good oil pressure.
jump in it. bummer okay that was kind of a disappointment I don't know how much of that I'm gonna be able to edit um, in or whatever because it was pretty dark I don't know how much of it took and how good the video is but anyway uh, the timing's way advanced and I figured it was because that's how I had set it in here uh, to try to burn more fuel you know because it was always running cold so um, they work good in the garage, so I'm not surprised at all that it's pinging like it is. Um, and then uh, when I was down that one road, it uh, it looks seemed a lot like the driver's side front tire started bouncing really bad, and it hasn't ever done that before. And I did drive it over to the airport when I was taking it over there to get it painted, and it drove fine. And I drove it probably 35, 40 over there on a real bumpy road and it ran, it did just fine. So something's not right. I need to check the, you know, the um, balance on the tires and make sure the shock's connected correctly. I'm sure it is because I just did that. But uh, anyway, that's, that's a solvable thing. Um, also, I can swap two tires and see if it changes it. Um, Anyway, so that was kind of a disappointment, but at least I took it out on the street, and it's registered and insured, so uh, I just got to keep going with it, and um, also, I really can't expect much from an old truck like this, you know, it's, uh, I mean, that's just how I'm thinking about it, it's, it's an old truck, I put some modern stuff on it, like wheels and tires, that was about it, and I put really good shocks on it, but other than that, it's all 1950 technology, <laughs> so I can't expect much, and with those big heavy tires, I got aluminum rims, but with the big heavy tires, that doesn't make anything better, I don't think, so anyway, that's what happened, and uh, at least I got my stickers. I also add this little thing that I'm trying to have uh, my stepdaughter make. Actually, it's upside down. 
I'm drawing it out for her. You know how well that shows up. I just kind of freehanded it. Um, what this will be is it'll go, it'll be, it's, you know, just regular plate aluminum, sheet aluminum. 70-75. Um, and uh, we'll just cut it out and then we can polish it or whatever. But she's going to make it, so she wants to make a piece for the truck, whatever uh, part it might be. So that's kind of why we figured this might be something that's cool. Anyway, and then uh, I used the carpet that I cut out f freehand as a pattern. And I cut them way too long in the front. So I went and really measured everything again and made it so it all will fit correctly. You know, and we'll just hand do it and then it'll get close. And then we'll make the whole, you know, match. We'll file into the correct dimensions so it'll work anyway just thought i'd throw that in there till the next update